17th April 5.24pm The entire trial took us 7 hours and 24 minutes inclusive of breaks and everything else. It's done! It's over at last! Oh my goodness! Finally, we're done. But... Where's Iris disappear to? Oh, wait, wait, where is she? Iris? Hi, Gina. Ah, congratulations, Gina. I knew it all along. I knew that you were innocent. Yeah, Gina, do you mind? <laughs> well, you did what you said, Miss Nara Odo. You believed in me right up to the end. You're as odd as your name. I mean, I'm Japanese, so... What's odd about it? I told you I had a faith in you, didn't I? <laughs> no one ever asked before, see? Kept a promise, I mean, properly. That's awful, yeah, that's sad if that's the case. I figured something out today. All my life, growing in, up in the slums, I've never trusted no one. But that's just cause I've been scared of being stabbed in the back. I mean, the more you trust someone, the more it hurts when they let you down. Oh, oh, this, oh, this statement really hits home though. I, I understand what, what she means. That's sad. Yes, I think I can understand that. After all, I had a taste of it in that trial two months ago. I chose to trust someone and paid for it. That betrayal left a big scar. You know though, Gina, I worked something out quite recently too. Trusting in someone else is really an exercise in learning to trust yourself. And when your gut tells you it's the right thing to do and your trust is rewarded, there's no better feeling in the world. I think I have you to thank for reminding me of that valuable lesson. Oh, well, if you say so, don't make a fat lot of sense to me though. It's fine, Gina, it's okay. I'm trying to say that putting my faith in you, Gina, has been a real pleasure. For crying out loud, pack it in! <laughs> hey, 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 I just want to have an emotional moment here, please. But I suppose I sort of feel the same way. Oh, thanks, Gina. I mean, sometimes trusting someone else is, you know, alright. Thanks. Oh, I hope I hope that she begins to start learning to trust people. This is the way I see it, Yunosuke. A defense lawyer is only as good as his faith in his client. And that comes down to how much faith he has in himself. After this experience, I'm starting to feel like I understand what you mean. Kazuma. Am I living up to your expectations? Or am I turning out to be the lawyer you believed I could be? Aw oh, man. Pardon the interruption. Who's that? Oh my god, Sholmes. But what the deuce does a man have to do to be noticed around here, my dear fellow? And then, <laughs> do, you, do you notice the, the other guy was like, wait, what? <laughs> The voice. It's too late for th that voice now, Mr. Naruhodo. I've been standing here patiently in the corner of the room for an eternity. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, it was me all along. I would have said when you finally noticed me. But you people, with your incessant babbling. Ah, M Mr. Sholmes. Oh my god, Sholmes. Ah ha ha, yes, it was me all along. You see? <laughs> what? Shows, please. I'm surprised that the guard was, wasn't going to like whack him or anything. I, I'd assume you'd be taken back to the hospital, to be honest. Indeed I was, but I managed to escape again. Shows, you, you're still having a high fever, sir. Please. Oh. I happen to be aware of one or two foibles foil wolves of the doctor who was tending to me. I merely made my knowledge of them known to the man and he happily issued me with a leave of absence. Okay. 
How very above board. Jeez. But enough of my adventures. There was a fine victory, Mr. Naruhodo. Your tireless efforts justly rewarded, I feel. Congratulations are in order. As a close friend, I tip my hat at you. Aw, oh, thanks. Oh, um, thank you. Huh. <laughs> oh no. Some great detective you are. Great as being cold as ice, maybe. Oh, ouch, you know. Uh, have I irked you in some way, Miss Lestrade? Why, you've been having a snooze in your nice soft bed. Some of us have been fighting for our lives. Ah, well, that bullet did cause me to lose a substantial amount of blood, it's true. So I have indeed been feeling somewhat cold. Not perhaps as cold as ice, but, well, have a few. Sholmes? Could you take your hands off my neck, please, Mr. Sholmes? <laughs> what? Sholmes, control yourself. And in some way, I suppose, congratulations are in order for you too, Miss Lestrade. What's that supposed to mean? Why so half after? Well, naturally, it isn't my intention to alarm you, but... An acquittal in a trial with that particular prosecutor is perhaps a little... precarious. Well done, Mr. Sholmes. Not alarming in the slightest. Yes, you're trying to allude to the Reaper in the Bailey thing, right? Oh, the Reaper, you mean? Because anyone who's found not guilty in a trial, he was working on once a day anyway. Is that it? The very point I was trying to make. Ex exemplified by the fate of Mr. McGilded, in fact. But she didn't kill anyone, though. Ah, but of course, I pay no attention to such irrational drivel myself. Yeah, well, it don't bother me. To be fair, think about when you think backwards, Magilda was killed by Graydon. Uh, Soseki ended up leaving Japan. I don't think anything is going to happen to Jida. After all, she is. She, she did commit a few small crimes. But for this, she's not guilty, so I think it's okay, right? It probably balances out. Oh, really? Of course not. The way I see it, the Reaper's a bit like him upstairs. Him upstairs? You mean, like, God? Yeah, him upstairs knows what's what, right? He knows what people are like on the inside. He even have got the wrong end of the stick. There are some calls like the Bog Trotter, what are rotten to the core. At the end of the day, I'm upstairs, or him upstairs makes sure they get what they deserve. I suppose... Oh, that's one way of looking at it. Divine justice is one thing though. The Reaper taking matters into his own hands and claiming lives is another. Remember Ryu, he didn't actually claim lives. Well, I ain't like the McGilders of this world, so I ain't scared. I got principle, see? Good job, Jina. A trait in you which is to be admired, Miss Lestrade. Oi, just give it a rest, alright? As I was oh, as I was saying, congratulations are in order. The news of your acquittal was very welcome news to me indeed. Let me express my heartfelt congratulations, Gina. <laughs> well, um, uh, there you are, Hurley. Oh no, there you are, Hurley. How long have you been here? Uh oh. Honestly, I went to the main entrance especially to meet you there. Ah, Iris, my dear. I do apologize. But wait until I tell you what happened. This pair made utter fools of themselves. Wait, what? W when? What happened? As you know, I have a pension for disguise. I was hiding in this room dressed as a bailiff. But these dolls didn't notice my presence at all. <laughs> they had no idea. Jones. Can you imagine, Iris? Would you credit it? Hmm, I'm not sure really. I beg your pardon? Oh, uh oh. I'm sorry, Hurley, but you just don't have the weighty presence you seem to think you have. <gasps> Iris! Oh no! What? Ouch. Ouch, Iris. In fact, you really ought to be careful about that. It's going to land you in trouble one day. Oh, I'll be careful. Oh no! Ouch! <laughs> and 
Anyway, it's such a shame. I was so hoping to throw a party for Genie tonight. But you won't be able to come, will you? Don't look like I'm gonna be nowhere, going nowhere for a while. You're the judge, Petter. I got stuff to make amends for apparently, all them offenses. What was it again? Breaking and entering, taking the bog trotter stuff, what was in black, blah blah blah. Yes, I think you'll find that basically, being a pickpocket is the main offense. The shows is such, yes. But diving in an offense is a job, in it? I don't think so. No, jeez, Gina, it's not. It's not a job. Still, it has got me thinking all this. Maybe I should start looking for another line of work. Oh, yes. I mean, you didn't start off as a lawyer, did ya, Odo? Well, no. But I was never a pickpocket. Well, potato, potato. <laughs> but anyway, I reckon I could make a change. I'm gonna do something for all of them lot like me from the slums. Something that makes a difference for them. Oh, good on you, Gina. That's a wonderful idea, Ginny, and I'm sure you can do it. Oh. What is it? Oh, Gina. I mean, I, I, I hope you feel that Iris is like a true friend to you, right? Nothing. Oh, Miss Gina Lestrade. Oh, the prison carriage has arrived, ma'am. Come with me to the real gate at once. Oh. Right. Well, looks like we're off then. Yes. Goodbye, Gina. And good luck. Oh, Gina, I'll miss you. Please, I, I, I will await, like, we will await your return. I, I, I guess. Um, uh, Odo? Yes? Oh, Gina, really? Really? Great. Oh! Ah! What, what was that for? I, uh, I don't know, I mean... I don't know what to say, so... Really, Gina? Ah, uh, indeed. Whereas the situation calls for a phrase hit her toe missing from vocabulary, Miss Lestrade. Eh? On occasions such as this? I would recommend a simple thank you. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. It's a good advice. It's good advice, Ginny. Yes, Gina, just a simple thank you would have worked. He didn't need to fire the thing at me. Right, I see. Well... Yes, Gina? G G Gina, C can you at least say the thank you? Oh! <gasps> Th Thanks. Oh, no. oh, Gina. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> oh my heart! Thank you for everything what you've done, for believing in me. Oh, you're welcome, Gina. This is so sweet. We finally managed to see her under the under the hat. Not at all. In fact, that should be my line. Thank you, Gina. Oh, this is great. What's gonna happen now? Well, there she goes. I wonder if I'll ever see her again. Well, well. Quite the indomitable pig purse. Oh, I nearly forgot. I bought a paper outside. It's a special edition, and this trial is all over the front page. Pig focus innocence proven. Isn't it wonderful? Oh wow, that's great. You should have shown it to Gina, Iris. She would have been thrilled, that's true. <laughs> you kind of missed the chance. Oh no, how silly of me. Ah, but anyway, we you like the good news or the bad news? There's still bad news? Ugh, not again. Well, what do you say, Runo? Hurley? As usual, I think I'd rather get the bad news out of the way first. Where's the dauntless do-gooder? Yeah, that, that, that part is missing now. Absolutely not. I have no intention of listening to anything but good news. 
And there you have it. How people answer that question says a lot about them, doesn't it? I guess, Iris. Let's not go there. Alright then, maybe let's start with the good news this time. The rain has finally stopped. It was a record level of rainfall apparently. Are you? Are, are you still? <laughs> Why has all your good news and bad news always been related to the weather and nothing else? Well, that is good news indeed. We can journey back in greater comfort. Alright then, what's the bad news? The huge storm has left the seas very choppy. Uh oh. The channel in particular is awful, so ceilings out of the have been delayed by a day or more. <gasps> that means we can go find. <gasps> really? Wait. Dover? That's right. If we head to the station immediately, we may still make it in time to wave Susie off. Ryu, take the chance, please. But. But. There won't be a train, surely? We couldn't be that lucky. Who do you think I am, Mr. Naruhodo? Mr. Shomes? I rushed to Victoria Station earlier and made arrangements for a special express. <gasps> oh man! If we hurry now, we shall be there in time for dinner. And I know of a fine restaurant that serves the most delicious baked soul. I don't... The Great Detective does it again! Indeed he does. I happen to be aware of a number of the real of the real transport director's foibles. Uh, how many people's What? I merely made my knowledge of them known to the man and he happily laid on the locomotive elementary. Wow, I, I guess his his influence stretches far and wide. Just an idea, but it might be wise to stop manipulating people that way. <laughs> He's just using his name for everything now. What are we waiting for then? The London Victoria. Yes, let's go. Let's quickly go. Go, go, go. Please, let's hopefully catch up to Susato. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. 18th April, 5.32am. Port of Dover, Kisai. That took somewhat longer than, than I had anticipated. Susie's so boat must be about to leave now. Miss Susato, where are you? <gasps> Over there, look! It looks like she's reading something. Oh, wait, wait she's staying by herself? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Miss Susato, wait! What are you doing? Oh god. Why, why did she want to throw that book away? Mr. Mr. Naruhodo? What are you doing here? We came as soon as we could after the trial. I, I mean, we heard that sailings were being delayed due to bad weather, you see. Aww. Oh, I... I see. Then, then tell me, how did Gina's trial go? It... it went well. She was acquitted. Aww. Oh, that smile. That's wonderful. Really wonderful news. Ah, uh, I mean, I, I guess Susato can finally relax for a bit as well. The book you were about to throw into the sea. It was your encyclopedia of British law, wasn't it? Oh dear, I was hoping you hadn't seen that. Susato, why are you throwing that? I'm not worthy of practicing law in any way now. Just because you semi broke the law by by making a hole in the door. So, I was saying my final farewell. You were saying goodbye to law, you, Susato-san. Would I be correct in assuming it's because of the peephole, Miss Susato? Really, just because of that, Susato, you actually. It ended up helping us a lot, isn't it? I deliberately altered the scene of a crime, and then I tried to hide the fact. What I did is utterly unforgivable. That reminds me. How did you even come to have this, Susie? Oh yeah, how, how did she even have it? On the evening of the incident, 
Mr. Shanks had invited Gina to dinner, if you remember. Yes, I do. I, I, I remember that part. Oh yes, we had a wonderful time. Well, Gina gave us a little introductory lesson, didn't she? Susato. To the art of pickpocketing, I mean. Are you serious? Oh, uh, that was so much fun. I stole Luna's armband. Yes, please don't do that again, Iris. That band's very important to me. <laughs> well, if it's so important, you should pay more attention to it. You didn't notice for ages. Uh, oops, rip. On a whim, I thought it would be fun to see if I could take the cat flapper mat, so I put it up my sleeve. Really? And then I rather forgot about it until I forgot myself, until I found myself in Mr. Windybank's shop with it later that night. So, wait, you put it in your sleeve and is it, is it that light that she can just put it inside her sleeve and not feel it at all? That's impressive. I, I see. And then... Yep, yep, this thing. Ah! Mr. Sholmes! Mr. Sholmes! Leave me, Mr. Narhodo! Right! Yep, and then the entire, the entire fiasco happened. And I think while that was happening, she went to go and drill a hole. After Mr. Narahoda had left the shop, I started to think. The door started to play on my mind. The storm door, you mean? Yes, if Gino was anywhere in the shop, I realized it could only be behind that door. And at that moment, the little device that I had up my sleeve sprang to mind. Okay. I was so worried about Gina, I simply had to know. So, you used the cat flapper mat to make the peephole in the door? Let's capture in a photographic print of the shop. By one of Hurley's red handed recorders. Yeah, so that was the gap there. Indeed, it was of the first importance, that point. Precisely when the peephole was made. That information would prove to be Mr. Naruhodo's greatest weapon, true. It ended up becoming the thing that broke everything apart, isn't it? Though naturally, without proof, it would have amounted to nothing. But when I looked through the hole in the door... Oh, she saw this. The sight that made my eyes made my blood run cold. Oh, I'm sorry, Susato. Thoughts started to run through my mind. I remember that trial two months earlier. The trial of M Magnus McGilder. I thought about how he had manipulated the evidence and arranged false testimony to secure his freedom. Oh. It made the British justice system feel very dark and sinister to me. And then a terrible thought occurred to me. What if. What if some wicked criminal was planning to do the same thing now? Oh. Because from the appearance of the crime scene, it looked exactly as though Gina had shot Mr. Winniebank. Even though I was sure she would never have done such a thing. You were worried that the true culprit would try to frame her for the crime? That's right, but then I realized... It would be very difficult for anyone to give false testimony in this case. What do you mean? It's probably because of how long we were there for, right? Well, the crime appeared to have happened behind the door of a locked room. For someone to claim falsely to have witnessed it, there would have to be a way to see beyond the door. Ah! True, precisely, right? For which, a peephole would be the very thing. Only the peephole I had made wasn't actually there until after the crime we committed, of course. And a criminal would know that, so it wouldn't make any difference. But the possibility of a rather ingenious trap was there, was it not? A, uh, a trap? Is that why she did it? So, is that why you keep it a secret, Susie? Is that why you kept it a secret? Sorry. You never mentioned that you made the people to anyone, not even to the police. I know, and I knew at the time what I was doing was wrong. A criminal offence, even. Wow. It's... Okay. At this point, I can only say that it is pretty interesting the way they... They weave uh, a lot of the characters in the game. The innocent people aren't really so innocent because of the things they have done. The guilty people have 
very successfully manipulated the justice system uh, to their whims to, to fit what they desired, right? And of course, the jury system is very fresh at this point of time, so it's, it's, it's still a bit too... It's, it's still at its infant stage, so it becomes very easily manipulatable. So, hmm, interesting. That's why I decided to confide in Mr. Sholmes. They also offer nice and plausible scenarios? Yeah, it is. If Mr. Narohodo was completely backed into a corner with no other possible means of escape, the truth about the people could save him. That was my plan. Oh, wow, Susato. She really does think of everything. She really does. She's impressive. But, but then, why didn't you just tell me everything before the trial began? My dear fellow, you're not thinking straight. If she had done that, it would have rendered you complicit in the whole escapade. True. Ah. You could have been disbarred if you had been seen to have knowingly tampered with a crime scene. True, right? He, Just the fact that he had to admit that he... He did a... Uh, he falsely defended... Okay, he didn't falsely defend but he defended a person who was supposed to be guilty. I think that itself already caused a lot of hoo-ha. This thing, he would just have been thrown out and the entire case would have been over immediately. So it's sad. So, Miss Susato decided to shoulder the burden of responsibility alone. For your sake and Miss Lestrade's. Ah, Miss Susato. The truth is, when it happened, I did it because... I lost a little of my faith in the law. Oh. I was worried that the right person wouldn't be convicted of the crime. But the moment I allow myself to think that, it's the moment I lost my right to call myself a judicial assistant. Is that why you were saying all those things? What you did isn't comparable to what he did. Graydon is the one who lied in the witness stand using that peephole as a way to implicate Gina. And besides, if the peephole inconsistency hadn't existed, I'm not at all sure that she would have been acquitted in the end. Miss Susato, what you did saved Gina's life. Well, with your kind words, Mr. Narahodo, you've saved me too from my regrets. Aww. You're welcome, Susato. And you really are a good judicial assistant. Well, we must all be thankful that Miss Lestrade's freedom has been assured. Yes, exactly. Although some of the loose ends in that trial will continue to play on my mind, I'm sure. But the revelation that the music box disc contains secret messages, Mr. Narahodo. What a triumph to work that out. I'm full of admiration. Well, actually, that argument wasn't quite as compelling as I thought it was. Oh, it wasn't? There was a communications officer among the jury members, you see. A telegraph operator. And she said that the majority of the sounds of the disc were just meaningless tones. Hmm as one would expect. After all, we are talking about secret government communications. No doubt they were written in cipher to avoid being readily understood should they have been intercepted. In cipher? I... I see. So then, we could never have hoped to understand the message anyway. Nonsense, my dear fellow. It's quite a zero-pipe problem, I assure you. What? Eh? So... Asogi? <gasps> what? Well, that can be a real word, can it? How funny! Wait, Iris, what did you just say? Oh, um, I just said Asogi. Does that word mean something to you? mean something? Asogi was the name of my best friend. What? 
But how? How do you know that name, Iris? What is happening here? I wrote it down during the trial before, when the message was playing on the music box. She transcribed it on the fly? She really is a genius. I thought the message probably wouldn't be written out in plain Morse code, so I tried various ways to interpret it. But whatever I tried, the words just didn't seem to make any sense. That is, in English at least. Oh! Oh, I see. It suddenly occurred to me, you see. There's more than one Morse code, not just the English variety. Various countries around the world have altered and added to Morse code to use it in their own languages. I... I don't believe it. Are you saying... That's right. I've only actually seen a chart of Japanese Morse code once before. Wow, Iris. But I think it's based on the Iroha pangram, isn't it? And you mean to say that in Japanese Morse code, the message says Asogi? Yes, I think so. Sorry, but I don't remember all of the Japanese Morse code. Iris, will you let me see that? Mr. Sato, do you know it? Do you know Japanese Morse code? Yes, I spent some time studying it. Because I'm quite sure Morse code will become ever more important for international communications. Just like, just like general number 5? <laughs> Then might I recommend, my dear madam, that you focus your efforts on the English version? Be that as you may, Iris, show me the message, please. Of course. What is the message? Susato, please let me know. But, but what can this possibly mean? Whatever is in that long sequence of supposedly meaningless dots and dashes is made the color drain from Susato san's face. There's no doubt that this message is written in Japanese Morse code. So, the British Empire has been using Japanese for its secret communications? I don't understand the reason why, but. The message appears to be a list of four people's names. Four names? The first is K Asogi. So Kazuma Asogi? Okay. Why? Why was his name on the disc? The second is A Shin. Shin? I don't recognize that name. The third is T Gregson. Greg Gregson? <gasps> what? Ah, it would seem Tobias Gregson is the third man on the list. Why? And what's his name doing in a secret government communication as well? And the last name... What's the matter, Miss Susato? It's... It's just so strange. So unexpected. Oh, what is it, Susie? The cable is in suspense. The last name is J. Wilson. Oh my god. What? Wilson? John H. Wilson? You mean Daddy? Uh oh. He says only J. Wilson, so I'm afraid I can't be sure. Then, after the four names, it reads, If I translate from Japanese, that is all four. And that's the end of the message, or rather, the end of what he noted down, Iris. Uh oh. I just can't believe it. Who would ever have thought? that those discs contain Japanese Morse code. Not to mention a strange list of some disturbingly familiar names. It would appear that this particular message is a communication of some kind between Great Britain and the Empire of Japan. So, 
Then he could be in Japan then. Where Susie and Runa come from? Oh, well... Oh god, Iris, I'm sorry. Hmm, no, it's not very likely really, is it? I mean, there are thousands of people with the surname Wilson and there must be lots of J's among them. Oh, Iris, I, I hope I never have to tell you this, like, through my mouth. Professor John H. Wilson, visiting professor of medicine at the Imperial Yume University. But we can't tell Iris about that now. We just can't. My god. This is so strange. Somehow, in solving the case of Mr. Windybank's murder today, I feel like I've rolled back a boulder at the mouth of a very dark cave. Uh oh. I do wonder if perhaps it's a dark cave that we shouldn't go wandering inside. What is this? Oh. Honk. <laughs> oh dear, the ship is going to set sail soon. Yes, it seems so. I'll sail in the steamship first to the port of Dunkirk in France. Then I'll change onto a larger passenger vessel bound for Japan. Oh man, Susato, I'm gonna miss you. You're really going to end, Susie. We wish you a safe passage, Miss Susato. Aww. Thank you so much. I wish all of you the very best. Miss Susato, I, I hope to have you always at my side to guide me and support me. Mr. Naruhodo, please, come back soon. As far as I'm concerned, you really are the very best judicial assistant in the world. Oh, thank you, Ryu, for actually telling her this. Oh, I'm... I'm quite sure I'll be back before you know it. Really, Susie? Oh, now don't forget, Iris. I made you a promise I've yet to fulfill. A promise? About your manuscript. I'm still holding it, by the way. Ah. Oh, oh yes. The Hound of the Baskervilles. Well, I'll be waiting for you then, Susie. A promise is a promise. Definitely, Iris. Wow. Mr. Naruhodo. Yes? Do you remember the first time we met? Yes, I do. We met uh, when Professor Mikotoba introduced you to us, right? Yes, of course. On the SS Beria, when I was dragged out from the wardrobe still half asleep. Well, to be fair, we met even earlier than that. Excuse me. If I remember rightly, you threw me halfway across the cabin with a Susato takedown. Yeah, yeah, yes, that happened as well. You know very, very well that I'm talking about after that. <laughs> well. It's strange, but being thrown together as we were in that case, I somehow felt straight away that you were the perfect person to continue Kazuma-sama's great legacy. Oh, thanks. Miss Susato. And mine's things were right. I really want to believe. No, I'm sure that. Aww. I'll be back soon. Farewell until then. Aww, Susato. Please do come back. I will see you soon. I miss you. I really miss you. Sad. <laughs> Susato! It, it, wait, what's happening? Oh. これで なるほど、龍之介。最初の冒険の物語はおしまいだ。思えば不思議な運命に導かれてここまで来たような気がする。僕は弁護士になって異国の街で
名探偵と出会ったこれからもきっとさまざまな困難が僕を待ち受けているのだろうでもどんな危機だって大逆転できるそんな気がする。だって僕には世界最高の仲間がいるのだからあーあーベハーおっいやあアイショブスあイエスミスなるほど Yes, Mr. Shobes? I, I thought they were going to do credits, goddammit. <laughs> I have some rather awkward news. Y yes? The railway company has decided to sue over the special express trade, apparently. Shobes. Shobes, are you serious? Huh? It caused such a commotion on the line. All the other trains had to wait at stations. Wow, so. <laughs> We ended, up, we ended up actually kind of hijacking the tracks. Oops. But really, we would never have made it to Dover in time otherwise. Anyway, I explained everything and how it was all your fault. Sholmes. You, you see the key there? You see the pier? Let's just maybe move a few steps back. And then I'm going to shove you in. How dare you? I believe a formal complaint should be delivered to your office tomorrow. But not to worry, my dear fellow. According to Miss Susato, you learn defending yourself in court. I, I risk you too. <laughs> huh? 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 It's alright, I'm perfectly happy to testify. He really didn't look like the sort of man who would do something so outrageous. See? Wow. Iris. Um, Mr. Sholmes? Yes? A word, if you don't mind. Why, certainly, any word you like. Bellow it out, my dear fellow. Oh, yes, I love Runa's words, and I know just the one he'll use here. Then I really must say. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh my god, guys, this game. Damn! Wow, wow, wow. Shu Takumi, oh my god. This is an insane game. Holy crap, and that was just the first of two, by the way. Oh, hi, Loshoms. In the following weeks, hundreds of music boxes arrived at Baker Street from all over Europe. Yes, you ordered it. Something was a food. Though it transpired, I had ordered them all myself. So I advertised them for sale with Use by Mr. Sholmes to solve an important case and the money I've earned. Consulting detective work pays a pittance by comparison. Oh my god, yes, Sholmes, yes. The art in this was beautiful. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, hi, no, Iris, why are you so sad? Uh, I haven't slept away. This manuscript is due tomorrow now. When I'm this busy, Hurley usually cooks me breakfast. Well, Cooks is an overstatement for some dry toast and insipid coffee. Well, I guess he can't cook. I don't miss Susie and a lovely Japanese breakfast. Aw, Iris, it's okay. Let's hope that let's hope that Susato comes home soon. Game two, please, game two. <laughs> oh wow, you guys. <laughs> I will talk about it after this is done. Oh. Witness, your testimony is riddled with contradictions. I, I think that's a, the voice I gave you. Exactly! Really the rare Koban coins hide under rare sticks themselves. I can't believe they are here. Well, I don't know son knows his father is an innocent man, or are you calling my son a liar? Witnesses, my courtroom is no place for your petty arguments. Wow, throwing us back all the way to the first case, huh? Can I just say the music in this is amazing. Oh. Having delivered the Russian dancer to shore in Shanghai, I laid low on the steamship for a while. But last night, I apprehended an extremely suspicious Japanese national on board. I've done nothing wrong! 
All I did was give Waga his offspring refuge in my pocket. A man brings up kittens on board, and suddenly he's a hardened criminal. It's not fair. Yeah, yes, hi Soseki. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he got caught? Are you serious? Jeez. Soseki san, I hope you're doing fine. <gasps> oh my gosh. The cases, though, the way they wielded it, oh. Scientific investigation will be the gold standard for. Oh, that, that was fast. I dream of a world governed by the tenets of order and discipline. Like a great clock, in fact, whose hundreds of parts mesh together in perfect unison. Yes, yes, the clock thing, I see it. Now, if you excuse me, I have but 2 minutes and 37 seconds until my next appointment. Yes, Lord Strongheart, he is actually a pretty cool character. Uh, we haven't really seen him much, aside from him giving us assignments, right? So I wonder if he'll appear in, case, in game 2 more often, who knows. Well, hello Gregson, the latest Grants magazine is out, and I'm in it again. Whenever I say that one line she wrote now, I get a standing ovation. Want to hear it? Heh, <laughs> not bad I suppose, for an amateur. Wow. Oh yes, T! <laughs> I hope you're doing okay, Rexon. Hopefully the punishment wasn't too severe. <sighs> Her ladyship puts me to shame. Wow. Yeah, you know, Grexon's character, I, I hope that he didn't get too heavy of a penalty, honestly. At the end of it all, um, whatever he did, I, I can understand, but it still wasn't appropriate, obviously. Oh, hello. Been visiting the old girl on a daily basis, of course. Joni, my old jailbird. She or oh, she's jail? But say, battling with those bolly stats every day has done wonders for the dicky pack. Managing rather well with the housework, too. Got this maid business taped up, I say. Hope the gossiping neighbors don't realize the maid of the house is own maid. Oops. Yeah, you, you now lost the maid. So let me just tell you guys, the thing is going by itself, which is why I'm speaking so fast. <laughs> I usually wouldn't give all of them the same cadence, but the text is just autoing itself. I can't do anything about it. Oh, hello! My Rolly is back on the beat again. All thanks to the Reaper. There's nothing I enjoy more than these days than hunting out small change in the gutter. I'm a better Bobby now, looking out for Londoners, their drop happenies, and my lovely wife. Oh, Pat. Oh, Rolly. <laughs> These two. <laughs> I remember. Oh my god, all the fond memories. You know, although the case for this was so sad at the at the part of it, just seeing this lovely couple here, oh, my heart just melts for them. Oh, hi, Gina. Looks like I'm gonna be doing time for a bit now. I mean, yeah, for the things they did. But Iris comes every day for a netter, so it ain't too boring. She's always going on about all them cases what Sholmes is looking into. Really? Criminal investigations are kind of interesting when you are getting to them. Okay, I guess. That's true. Gina, I hope... I mean, if we see you in game 2, I hope that you have turned over a new leaf and are looking at some different kind of occupation other than thievery and pickpocketing. Fingers crossed. Oh, hello. Yes, I renounced my upbringing and chose a life of sophisticated crime. My regrets, please. Oh! Give over a breath, that ain't the ash we used to know. Why are they here? We got time in the air to plan the comeback of Milverton and Skulky's milk run, right? Oh, they're all three here. The three muskawatsits, milking the neighborhood for all it's worth. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. He even did the dance with them. What the heck? Are you serious? Wow, wow, wow. Graydon, at the very end of it all, he, he had a very tragic story, right? I mean, not every criminal has to have a tragic story, but his one, I can totally understand where he was coming from and what he did. Oh, Susato! These past six months has been a time I shall remember forevermore. Painful goodbyes and wonderful encounters. I've come to realize that's what life is all about. Narahoda san, I promise. Your assistant will return to you one day. But for now, I leave you with many memories and a heartfelt wish. That life will treat you well. Oh, thanks, Susato. Susato, truly best judicial assistant. Don't you guys agree? I feel that way. Truly the best. <gasps> oh, did she? Did she paint the eyes? Okay, no, never mind. Maybe not. Oh, look at this photo. <gasps> My heart. What? Oh, this is so cute. Oh wow, when did they take this photo? This is adorable. 
And seriously, uh, Naruhodo looks super young there. Like Ryunosuke, sorry. Ryunosuke looks super young there. Okay, he hello? What's gonna happen now? Oh! Oh, what's this? Oh, hello, Asogi. Deep breaths. What, what, what's happening? <gasps> Wait, are we gonna actually see things? Okay, now I can finally speak. Ryunosuke Naruhodo is Mark Ota. Herlock Shows is Bradley Clarkson. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, we are, we are just gonna let it pan out at the back. I will talk about, I will just talk about things. Uh, all my thoughts about the game and stuff as it, as it runs around. Yes, Auchi, I recognize you. Hi. <laughs> this is literally going to run through every single person, uh, probably, that we've met. Notable characters that we've actually met. Oh, do you guys remember her, though? In the first case, she appeared, and then she kind of vanished like a swan. She just flew into the sky, and in hiding into some other country, you know, doing, doing her fancy stuff, and then we realized that the justice system maybe really isn't that fair after all at that point of time, right? But yeah, uh, through the cases, I truly, I, I truly felt as though, I don't know, it was so enjoyable. A lot of the cases were just super enjoyable from start to end. Uh, granted, I may have had my complaints, some of the, some, some of my minor, my minor like, uh, quips about some of the cases, especially case 4, where, where case 4 started, started off with just very seemingly random things, no relevance whatsoever, and then suddenly it it just, the entire troll just throws you in a loop to tell you that things are not as what it seems. Asogi, you did not just stop there. Oh my god. Oh no! That was, no! That is such a way to represent what's happened here though. Are you serious? Asogi, are you going to come back to me? Kazuma? Oh my heart. <gasps> no! Oh wow, the way they weave this credit scene here. Oh my god, Susato. I guess let's go. Oh no, okay, it stopped here. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just going to continue. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> oh, there they are. Yep, and then he took up the mantle of uh, Asogi's sword, Kazuma's sword, right? And with Susato following very closely behind, uh, eventually entering London. Damn! Oh, I absolutely love this credit scene. I want to say, I want to talk about so many things, but at the same time, looking at all these press is just making me get distracted and going back to whatever is happening on the screen again. Look at that! Oh, you remember Beppo first and whatever, Hatter? Uh, whatever his name is. <laughs> Ah, of course. Our very main villain of the entire game. Honestly, I really think he was the main villain. He, he felt like he was controlling everything from the shadows. He was scary. Magnus McGilded, you are one heck of a scary guy. Truthfully. Truthfully one heck of a scary guy. Case... This was Case 3, right? Case 3 was amazing. The way it was written, the drama that was inside, and the, the eventual conclusion, completely unexpected. I was not expecting it to be to, to end up this way. Oh wow. <laughs> and chapter four, one of the most sorrowful chapters that we've had in the entire thing. Uh I still feel a little bit bad for Roly Beat the way the way that um like she treats him, yanking yanking the scarf and stuff, but fine. Hi Soseki Natsume, I see you there. Along with the Gary Depp household, right? Oh, hello Iris! Would you like to come along with us? Let's go! I I Iris, are you coming with us? Thank you. <laughs> I thought she was just not going to come with us. Yes, I see your foot. Yes, thank you very- Oh, hi. The Reaper of the Bailey, very hot guy, is right here. Jeez. It's, it's crazy though. Oh, what? Oh, look at the dance again. Yeah, Iris, are you coming with us? No. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and China. Oh, Wow. I mean, if considering that Gina kind of left at a bit of a weird point, oh, she's just charging it. Is she going to fire it? No, she's not. Um, considering that when at chapter 3, when we added, when you left off, it kind of left her as like a hanging point. I did not really expect her to come back in such a big manner, right? Revealing so much about the case in case 5. 
Uh, case 5, of course, was the grand finale. We experienced so many things. Shock, anger, absolute insanity. Uh, the trial itself ran for at least... How many hours? 10? Let me see. I've done this for 6 hours today. I did it for 4 hours. Yes, 10 hours. The trial itself was 10 hours long. Uh, it, it was crazy. Oh yeah, the snap. I see that. I see that at the end. Capcom, you guys are awesome. This is this is an amazing game. The Great Ace Attorney Adventures finish. What is going to happen? Am I going to get some extra things that appear? Let's see. <gasps> oh! Fleeting Farewell. Wow. This is absolutely beautiful. Holy crap. Oh man, they're so cool though. Oh wow! Oh look at this guys! Oh my god, this is beautiful! This has been one heck of a game. Okay, let me just tell you guys. Um as with any visual novel, it has it is always a very big challenge to actually uh play through and Okay, I wouldn't say that I made it entertaining that. I wouldn't say I made it that entertaining. I hope you guys are entertained by the voices at least. <laughs> Just because I, I personally am more of the guy who like, I'll let them run through the thing themselves and I just give casual input from time to time and that's it. I, 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 I don't really like to interject too much during the dialogue. So for the most part, it's just me really narrating their, their stuff. But I hope that you guys were okay with it. Um, it's... The, the, the entire thing took me at least I think two to three months to actually finish at this point in time. Uh, I know you guys actually want case want me to play game two. I can tell you guys with how the game two starting scene at least I'm not gonna do game two starting scene now no. This is a perfect ending point so we are not doing game two starting scene at this point. <laughs> Unfortunately I have to reject that. The narration is the reason why I start from oh thank you move that's so sweet of you. So um, based on how game one ended, I am pleased, I guess, to tell you guys that game two will come. However, however, not so soon. Okay, please, please, please give me a little bit of time. <laughs> After playing through this part, with the amount of questions they are leaving at the end, I cannot just not play game two. Especially for, for, for quite a few of you guys who actually joined, joined in since like the start you probably also want to know as much as i do what's happening next <laughs> so uh, i would play through it but i need time to rest so yes it will happen just give me some time okay now now that everything has settled uh let, let's just go back to just my thoughts about the game right so i, I know you're scattered all around just now because there's so many things that are happening but overall i absolutely love the, the fact that they started doing 3D animations, uh, it, it does make for a much more... How should I phrase it? It's, it's interactive? Maybe it's interactive, but I say it's much more engaging. It feels more human that way. It's not just a 2D kind of a image. You, you see like animation, you see flows, you see the way they react to things. And it's just very different in a sense and sometimes when they do the 360 pan of Ryodosuke oh god so good it's so damn good it just looks cool that way and I absolutely adore it right um the, the character designs were super memorable for most of them <laughs> just seeing this like oh wow it's them again oh no which is pretty much why when when I saw the characters just now as they were narrating things, I, uh, as they were saying things, I could just use, I could use their voice immediately because they are so distinctive. You can recognize almost each and every one of them and where they came from and what kind of role they actually served uh, in, in, in the entire game. And I think that's great. It's like, not, not a single character is just placed to the side, so to speak, right? Uh, aside from the jury, let's not talk about the jury, okay? In a in a population of how many million people in Britain, you expect to be you expect me to believe that only the same like ten to fifteen people will pick for the jury? Are you serious? Please, please game, please. <laughs> so coincidentally, we see them like appearing multiple times in the case. Annoying, jeez. But I mean, they they made for entertaining um stuffs, isn't it? Like, like most of them at least had some kind of entertaining dialogue 
or made made for um very insightful testimony. Uh, my most memorable jury so far is still juror number three from case four. I think yeah, I think that's the one. Very logical. Um, he has his own opinions of things, but he also makes sure that the evidence backs up his thoughts about it. So he's he has he's definitely the hardest to convince, but that's why I appreciate him for it. Definitely the best juror. <laughs> yeah, but beyond that, uh, music was great. The way the themes though from things like um, Van Zix's tune, Van Zix's tune is one of the best. I really really like it. Uh, Whose other theme was it? I, I think one of the pursuit, I, I think they call it pursuit themes or something. One of the themes that I hear quite often is also really nice to actually listen to. So, oh, what can I say? It's just so many beautiful things. And the art and the animations, guys. They make so many like anime-esque style animations at the start of um, each chapter, which makes for such an enjoyable journey. My one small gripe with the game or maybe a few small gripes first the characters really talk a bit too much sometimes <laughs> they, I, I, I really don't need to know every single life story that you have but okay thanks Th thanks I guess thanks secondly it would be, have been nice if there was a way to quickly skip through the dialogue without having to enter so many times to reach the point again like my the, the way I approach uh, my gameplay, right? Is that I don't really want to pursue something halfway through. I kind of want to, to hear all the rest of the dialogue just because it's fun. First, it's fun. Second is sometimes they would talk about random random crap at the end that you would not have thought of. And I think that that actually adds to the overall experience, right? Granted, yes, usually what you would do is that, oh, you know, I see something, I'm going to pursue it immediately. I, I don't really want to do that, which means that if I want to go back to pursuing it, I have to freaking go through the entire set of dialogue again. What the heck? That's freaking low, you know, I have to press enters how many times just to get to that same part when they react to the statement. Oh my god, and the number of game overs. I, I think in total I have had three game overs. Uh, the first one in case one, I think, where I, where I think I gave a bit too much wrong details, and the other two in case five. I will take all the errors. Uh, it's amazing how that very last part of the trial, I, I submitted everything right all the way through to the end. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> Definitely wish there was a smoother way to go through the dialogue. Yeah, same. Um, honestly, I really feel as though maybe they should be like, oh, this person already saw the react part. Let's just jump to the react part for them. Like, like allow me to just jump there. Because I don't really need to go through every single animation. I, like, why? I, I just want to go to the pursuit, right? So, yeah. Um, at this point of time, it's clear there is a lot. Something like a tab where you see past statements? Yeah, possibly. So at this point, there's a lot of mysteries left un unsolved. I can only tell you that my expectations at this point of time uh, is that Gina is probably going to come back. I mean, I'm not going to spoil myself. I just, this is my predictions. Gina is going to come back some way, somehow. She may get embroiled in another case. Uh, Susato will come back. Obviously, she, she has to come back. But I don't think her return will be that soon. My guess is going to be a while. If I had to guess, there is a potential... I may be wrong with this, but I just have this sneaking feeling that... Um, Sholmes is going to be my, my majority of the assistant in the next game. I don't know why, I just have this weird feeling. Um, and Iris... Iris' story regarding her father would definitely be very much for the explore. Uh, Asogi, or rather Kazuma, we promised him that we wanted to come here to to attain a goal of his. And even Strongheart asked the same question. It seemed as though it's something that lies very, very deep within London. And I don't think we've even touched the surface of it just yet. So game two definitely promises to be something really big really really big but yeah and Ven Six's Japan story too who was the Japanese that he uh he contacted with which caused him to feel such disdain for like Japanese people in, in general right that was interesting he he said that there's just one lone Japanese that caused him to feel such a big betrayal that I'm guessing that he 
the reason he retired was because of this one Japanese person, which is gonna be insane. So, yeah, to the point he even retired, right? So, that should be um, something to look forward to in case in, in game two. So for now, I gotta go off. Uh, it is already a Friday, right? So I wish all of you uh, a very good weekend ahead. It is Friday, so one last day of work for anyone who's actually working. Good night, everyone. Have a good rest. And I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye.